Okay, so we know what we're going to do. Head into Omicron. Sounds like a Transformer name. Do we have to reverse this now? Do we do we? Oh, cool. It is really good. Flush. Oh, it does it automatically. Okay. Surely we won't get hurt underwater by falling. How they built these structures so far underwater. I'd love to know the engineering behind that. I know it's a video game, but I'd love to know the engineering behind that. More flushing, maybe? Ooh. What? Use it all to that entrance, okay. Damn. Ah, oh, that means they're going to dangle us over that precipice. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Ooh, Ooh I didn't want to fall. Be the right way. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's an abyss. There's something lurking. Don't wish to find out what it is. Taking a plunge down there. Pressure might want to kill you. Hence why we need another suit. Here comes the cool water effect. Deedy. Ooh. Oh, what happened here? I'm assuming this is going to be nothing as well. So, no head, therefore maybe no black box, therefore no reading of their thoughts. Anything for me? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we've got a way up. Looks 
bad. Global lockdown active. Override it. Dive room console. Dive or drive? Dive. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have to go upstairs. It's too dark. Dive room. Ooh. I'm good. You can stay wherever you are. Containment F1. We want dive room. Hydroponics. What's this one? South stairwell. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Not liking it. Oh, jeez. Someone actually spoke to us. Have to stop it. Well, at least if they can talk, they can be reasoned with. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Diver in Medical Bay. Medical Bay. Anything of note? Oh, look at that. It's like a deep sea MRI machine. Aspirin. <laughs> uh, we seem good. North Hall two. Long corridor. EP. Mm, don't like it. Oh, light. No, nope. more dark. More dark. Oh, lots of dark. What have we here? Don't see a damn thing. Ooh, there's a dock for Catherine. Oh, is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amidor falling apart. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No. No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Right. Now we can have a look. It's the whole team. Ah, uh, Hamatsu power suit proper usage. 
Put on neoprene undersuit and body harness. Okay. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dare. Don't dive too deep. And Simon, don't, look for a suit in the lockers. And don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. What do we have here? Power suit tested. Omicron scans in the arc. Loaded equipment and, and extra rations. Okay, cool. It's a list of odd jobs. Okie dokie. If there are any power suits left, they Ooh. should be in the lockers. Look at that. Cool red glow. Herbie. I found Herbie. one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. That's pretty full on. Something's powered on. Matsu power suit. Information: a high-pressure suit, guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning 50 to 75 degrees Celsius, while keeping a steady 40 default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 atm up to depths of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience possible. Tracking. Okay, so it's tracking three of them. What will we D? Not exactly grade A material. Damn. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Yeah, well, you don't have to do any of the hard work. So what am I? Okay. Now all the creepies come out. Don't forget, we need a cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Three things, right. Right. I feel nervous. Three things, three possible bad encounters. <laughs> I'm already on edge. Storage. Would there be anything in storage? Probably not. Nope. 
or we can hide there if we need to. Locked, open, locked. One way, I didn't see this before. Midsection lower. So, we're at midsection now. This thing goes up and down. Ah. Okay, easy done. Ruffy, an unusually sedated orange Ruffy found hovering outside Omicron, Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. It brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Lovely. Darby and Baldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 metres depth. It's a 150 centimetres long rudder fish. Hmm. That looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's, clearly, it's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvia... Orvari? can't shut up about it. Ah, the shark rudderfish thing. I bet we beat, meet that at some point. John Ross. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as jo Johan Ross, the AI psychologist. Working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss and frankly I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they'll have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Fair enough. I don't want to go down there in the first place. So that's still locked. We have to go back down where we came from. Okay, now. Ooh. Oh, cool. Thought it was saying denied. Port located. Rerouting utility. Cool. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Yay! Okay, okay, okay. One door. Robot repair bay. Oh, we need a Cortex chip. Okay. 
Oh, poor little bugger. Okay, so, just to rewrap them down. Okay, easy enough. No, it's not. No, I guess it is. Huh. Okay, one down. No sign of creepy nasties. Why does my light not work very well when I need it to? Ooh. Look at this poor bastard. Look at that. Whoa. Into the abyss, take it to Alpha in the abyss. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. The heart of Alpha. Alright. Killed it. Oh, I forgot it did that. Oh, I forgot about that. us probably dead oh jeez far out it's still locked fucking let's just move Back to her, if we can. Oh, I don't like this long tunnel. Ooh. Ooh. We need about a bat full of structure gel to tie the body, the cortex chip, and the battery pack together. Can we... Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Can't come back yet. I haven't seen anyone creepy yet. There's definitely something around there. Oh, for goodness sake. It's every time we come in this room. Selected. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's unlocked now. Pretty gross. What is that? It looks like fungus. Ooh. Hey, the searching Andrea. paid off. Yeah. I was talking to Cameron about protein solubilization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> blame me for trying to figure this out. I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. 
Everything from the sudden signal amplification at black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. Uh, I just... Sorry. Hmm. I think we're on to something that's... I think the second time we've heard them mentioning... Uh, heads and explosions and things. Do we go up or do we go down? I think we went down there, so it's... This is open now. Power room. It's got to have a battery or something. Don't think we can turn into one of them. Don't you dare. So far, so good. It might be about to change though. Can we bring it up here? Huh. Oh, hang on. Right, upper. There we go. Dining hall, power, power room. Oh, I'll check the dining hall first. Dining hall's one room, it can't be that bad. Or can it? What do we got? Curry mix, rice, spinach, dried beef. I like beef. <laughs> I like that YouTube clip. Another head exploded. Just as we thought. Can we... can. Ooh. Art. Undelivered report. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. Delenda Est. Sounds familiar. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Say that again. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. Mm -hmm. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. What was that? Did her, did her head maybe explode? Actually... Yes, it did. That would be her there, wouldn't it? She hasn't sent them. Okay. 
sleep well. One open door, one closed door. South hall. Power room. It's in the south hall. That was that. It's down here. Ooh. Get any of one's missing heads. It's a big pile of goo. It's like the suit I'm wearing. Ah, right, power room it is. Be that easy? Nope. Again, another room to hide. Oh, we're loading. Do not operate machinery without safeguards. Holy crap. Look at you. This poor sod. There's something here. Oh, could it be that easy? She's blind or not. Mm. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, quick. Damn. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Where the fuck is she? I just want to leave. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Oh, shit. No, 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 oh fuck, hmm, hmm, hey buddy. any luck she went straight back where she came from. Four. We're not going back in there. Nope. Goodbye. Fuck that. Dining hall we went to. Oh, that gave me the shakes. Here we have not been. takes us down. Oh, yes we have. <laughs> Motherfucker's gone. No! Hydroponics. Hydroponics. Did 
think structure door would be in here. Damn, that guy got up. Structure door, wouldn't it? They'd be experimenting on it. That's not something you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? The pain that transparent. What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Um, what makes you. Why, why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something. But outside Alpha. Play other tapes. Yeah. Atlantic Cod. Whoa. Any structure, Joe? I'm a bit concerned as to where this other dude has gone gotten up and walked the hell away. Oh, we need you. in here for us. Maybe a lab coat. Dive room medical bay. That goes back to her. I really don't know where we're supposed to go now. Maybe down again. Been in there. Hydroponics. That's where he is. Dispatch containment. It's got to be in containment room. Containment. Here we go. No foreign contaminants beyond this point. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You would go so mouldy and slimy. Oh. Clean room. Wow. Ah, okay. So it's that thing. Starts off in a petri dish. Yeah. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Two seconds in. Three hours, sixteen minutes. Eleven hours, twenty one minutes. Holy crap. Trick previous results. Connectivity. Uh, 
the structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Function. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even... Functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more effective efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be calib uncalibrated to get rid of the, ba the bad code. <coughs> Pathology. Applied gel to dead mouse. The gel... I don't like that. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel hardened within it. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnetics are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with the aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated mix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WOW. The gel has not taken on... Stop it! Any new properties, the WOW simply uses it in ways that we would never have even dreamed of. Hmm. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks and even the helpers were manipulated by the WOW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Wow, it's a lot to take in. So the WoW has manipulated it. Of course. Of course. Of course. Huh. Well, we have to repair it, do we? What do we have in here? A circuit. We pick it. Okay. Maybe. Huh. Oh, wow. Maybe now we can. Nope. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> See if it brings this one back. Oh, wow. It came back to life. There's something like it. Holy moly. I particularly want that thing out and about. Ah, uh, okay. Right here. No. Oh, 
this is a different circuit anyway. Imagine if we put structure gel on her. Oh, it's got no head though. I if that makes a difference. No brain. Therefore, possibly no functions. There we go. We've got all three. Structure gel as connector and interface between energy pal S3 and organic tissue. Wow. Gratius Nov... Nov... Oh, okay, I can pronounce it. That really showed up. Never seen something of that speed. <laughs> You haven't seen me run away from the friggin' proxies. So we can go back to Catherine now. That is good. <coughs> Pretty sure we're on the right level. All we need to do is get back. What was it? Ooh! What the hell? Ooh. Yeah, thanks for that. Whoa. I prefer you not. Dive room, okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hell no. Hell no. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Oh shit! Shut the door, Kevin! Oh, Lock the door! Hmm. It's locked! What's going on? We managed to piss oh. off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Oh, kind of need a breather. Keep clear, keep clear, keep clear. Check your air supply and systems. Yes, well. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Power, eyes. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. <laughs> Alright, try activating the suit from the terminal again. Herbie the love bug, eh? Alright. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh. She changed bodies, but well, she's only in a friggin' what are we doing? Black box type thing. We need to loop back the activity manifested yeah. by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. Uh -huh. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them Ooh. line up. It's getting close. Nope. Is it close? Or not? No. Pretty close. Oh, there we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please. 
Okay, here we go. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, <laughs> they'd be right. <laughs> She's so awkward at times. Here we go. Sweet. Yeah, copy. There must be something wrong. Did you run a diagnosis or something? No way. What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, no. why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the huh. seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Holy Simons. Shit. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while if you do. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Shit. Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Of course you wouldn't. Holy shit. She doesn't seem to care much about anybody. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can kill him, essentially. Which means he'll die, and that's the end of it. Or what, we continue on and leave him here. Ah, oh, shit. There's creatures out there. We're stuck in this room. Could he make it out of here? Has no Omni tool. No Catherine, but he is us, and we have gotten through quite a bit. Fuck. Can we at least write a note? Can we write a note and say, hey buddy, we'll be back for you soon. We could potentially come back for him, couldn't we? If I could write a note... Stick it right there and say we are coming back. Hold on. Then things would be pretty good. Or even put a big sign up here saying don't go in. Dead inside. Far out. I don't know what to do. I'm going to leave him on the assumption that I myself would come back for him. Yes, I would come back. I'll see you soon. That's controversial. Holy crap. I don't know if I did the right thing then. Let's assume that we did, because we would come back. I'm not saying it's a one-way ticket. Although now he's not going to have any idea what's going on. Just assume Catherine left him. He's over there. Ooh. 
Alright, head descent. Look at that. Oh, I could. Oh no, I can't fall off. We're going to take the descent into the abyss. I think we'll do that when we come back. I need a moment to process leaving a cloned copy of myself. Thanks for watching.